Hello space travelers, welcome back in Jezero Crater. We're back with another interesting episode from Mars. Probably many of you already hear about the first helicopter on Mars, the Ingenuity Helicopter. So how about we talk today about the future helicopters that are already in development and will most likely be sent to Mars. But before we jump on it, let's talk numbers first. Ingenuity already performed 33 flights on Mars since landing. Some of them were long and some lasted only a few seconds. The longest flight made by the helicopter has been flight number 25, which lasted 161 seconds during which the helicopter covered a horizontal distance of 704 meters or 2,310 feet. On the other hand, the shortest flight has been flight number 14, which lasted only 20 seconds during which the helicopter covered only 2 meters or 7 feet. The fastest ground speed that Ingenuity reached during these flights was 5.5 meters per second or 12.3 miles per hour. So in total, the helicopter flown over 7,392 meters, highest attitude reached, 12 meters, total flight time. 58.7 minutes or 3,521 seconds. And it acquired more than a thousand black and white images and hundreds of high-resolution color images like this one. But what do we know about the future generations of Mars helicopters? We're looking at the current first generation of Mars helicopters, the Ingenuity Helicopter. But what will be its successor on the Red Planet? The next solar-powered helicopter should look like this. This is one of two sample recovery helicopters slated to fly to Mars as part of the Mars Sample Return Campaign. These sample recovery helicopters are already under development and are meant to serve as backups to the Perseverance rover in transporting sample tubes to the sample return lander. But what will Mars helicopters look like in 10 years or so? We are looking at the Mars Science Helicopter concept. This interesting looking six-rotor Mars Science Helicopter is a proposed follow-up to the Ingenuity and could be used in the next Mars missions to serve as an aerial scout. So it could help to study terrain that rovers can't reach, and it could also carry between 2 to 5 kilograms or 4.5 to 11 pounds of payload, including science instruments. The future of helicopters on Mars looks bright. So how did you like today's episode? Support the channel with your like and comment, subscribe for more or support us on Patreon. Thank you for watching.